was I grew up in Holland and I could join this uh, contest uh, look of the year and, um, and I could win a car and that was my motivation. I had no idea what was awaiting me. What was awaiting her was a career modeling for big companies like Guess Jeans and Revlon. And then, of course, what was great was Victoria's Secrets. Um, they were a big client for like seven, eight, nine years. I mean, this catalog comes in the mail, I think, almost like every other day. <laughs> Modeling has taken Frederic to exotic locations all over the world and presented some amazing opportunities. When the computer world came, um, I was approached by a company called Supermodel.com. So that was when I was really, for the first time, introduced to diving. Uh, because we decided to do a dive which would be a live fed into supermodel.com. Um, from we went uh, swimming with humpback whales. <laughs> we were off the Dominican Republic, and um, and they were ma they had the calves there, the babies and babies. I mean the size of this room. And the mother at one point was under us. I tell you, she was a couple of feet away. I mean, the mother could like with one whip of the tail and I would be flying to New York. Yeah, I mean, it's like, <laughs> these animals are enormous. When I came out, I like, I cried. It was like, uh, you know, man, it's, it's, too, it's so beautiful. Whether she's looking at sea life from afar or hand feeding it, Frederic will do just about anything to get close to nature. <laughs> <laughs> but her favorite hobby by far? Scuba diving. Scuba is an acronym for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. Now the idea of breathing underwater might be a little scary for some, but Frederic finds it exhilarating. I love to do a lot of sports. I mean, I'm a, an avid tennis player, but it's, it, it is in some ways the same. You know, I get sort of thrilled by the sport, but in diving it's always different. The location, the whole environment, uh, it's fantastic. There is an element which is unknown to it. You never know what's going to happen in the water. I think the idea that there is always that element of unknown to it and that you never know what you're going to see or run into is the excitement. In scuba diving, the gear alone can be intimidating, but you don't have to be a certified diver to experience scuba. There are resort courses and introductory courses where shallow dives are led by instructors. Frederic says the equipment might look scary, but if you go down with a dive master, there's nothing to worry about. I think with diving, it's one of these things that looks, it looks complicated. I mean, it isn't uh, that complicated, but it, there's a few steps you have to take. If you have never done it, then of course you go with a professional. But even for me, I like the fact of going with a professional to run through all your gear. You have to always check everything, you know, is it, you know, also with uh, the tanks, you know, is it connected right? And I mean, if, if I would put it on, I would, somebody has to check it and see if everything is okay. So here I am with Mario at Atlantis, who's actually going to be my uh, companion partner going down. Uh, tell me, what am I going to see? Well, there's tons to see here. There's the Great Manta, it's the only one in the Western Hemisphere. There are um, Pacific black tip sharks brought in from the Pacific Ocean. Um, you know, large assortment of jacked and snappers. A lot of stuff to see, it's pretty exciting. I'm ready. I tell you, I think uh, we should hit, I'm going to go over a few safety things and then we're going to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> when Celebrity Hobbies returns, <laughs> scuba diving with supermodel Frederique in just a moment. Supermodel Frederique Vanderwall made her reality TV debut recently on Celebrity Mole Hawaii. She proved to be more than just a pretty face when she outsmarted her fellow players, never letting on that she was the mole. The mental and physical challenges were right up her alley. I grew up very much uh, as a tomboy. I love adventure. I've been for several weeks at Everest. I didn't have normal food, I didn't have showers. I loved it, I loved it. We were fantastic. I went tracking, walking places where, you know, I had leeches all over me, uh, sleeping outside. I, I have no problem, I love that. I think it's great. I think it's great where you can have the balance of both. I have a farm upstate New York and, and I'm there in the earth and I swim in my pond and take care of snakes who come around and then the next day I sit, stand on an event in, uh, in my whatever Galliana dress or something. 
Um, I need both. I need the realness and, and I also at times love the glamour side of it. But um, there has to be a balance. Her hobby, scuba diving, helps with that balance, even if she can't do it as often as she'd like. Frederic shows us what to look for when preparing to dive. Okay, I'm ready to go diving. I'll put on the BC, my buoyancy compensator. Um, close this up. Check all the things. My regulator, see if I have air. <laughs> Got air. This is to put some air in my BC and to let it go. Then my gauges. Very important how much air I have. I have over 3000 PCI, which is uh, pounds per square inch. And this is my depth gauge, which will go very deep, of course. And then we're ready to go. Rock and roll. thing when you start liking any kind of sport or uh, anything as a hobby you know normally you can hobby away where you know the diving it is an unusual hobby you know it's not so accessible so easily traveling to exotic diving locations is part of its allure it's like a fix <laughs> but for Frederic there is more to it than that I mean, it's fear in some ways, but in another way, it's because your adrenaline goes immediately up, because it is the unknown. And, and I personally, I'm always extremely curious, and, and I do like that level of, of uh, you know, the unknown, a bit of fear, uh, which makes it so great. Time goes away, and there you are in this world which is unknown. <laughs> I never had the feeling of where time is gone. You know, they always say, oh, you have to be in the moment, and that's so important in life, and it's about the journey. And in diving, it kind of happens automatically. You're very much there in the moment, and you take in this nature. I mean, nature becomes so intense in itself, and then seeing all these fish, and uh, I remember that the first time when uh, suddenly they said, you know, we're going up. And I'm like, what do you mean we're going up? <laughs> and it turned out that we were already for an hour diving. And I thought it was like five minutes. Even if you do it, you know, for an hour, you know, to somewhere. It's, it's just, it's a wonderful experience. It's very calming. Like the manta ray, you look at that and it's like this, this gracious animal and you feel like that, even that you're totally not gracious probably. It's like, you kind of like there you're floating in the water, you're weightless. It's like this, I don't know, there's something incredibly soothing about it. We should so much respect what we still have. Uh, it's not often enough that we stand still and see that these kind of animals are alive. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing, amazing. The Frederic was hooked on scuba diving the first time she went. And getting certified is easy. To find out how, log on to DIYNetwork.com.